Freestyle from Thursday, November 16th, 2017. Let's take a look and I'll come back and make some notes. Okay, so first off, things are looking good. You're getting better. Now we need to become very good. So how do we do that? So when I'm looking at this video, right now things look a little bit rushed. I mean, you're pulling too early on and you're, you're turning your head really hard to get a breath. Although it is getting better. See right here. See how you're getting both of your eyes out of the water? This is one thing right here. You don't need to go that far. And even swimming out of, out of the beach, you don't need to go that far to breathe. The goal is to have one goggle underwater like this. So you're going to actually turn your head this direction so that your goggles are here and your mouth is here. Obviously, this is a little bit dramatized, but to, so you get the idea. This is your chin. So think of it as leaning this way. Right now, you're over-rotating your head. And I don't know, because maybe you think you're not getting air, or you're holding your breath underwater. And we'll see that in the other video. So let's, let's work on that. So lean your head this way. It'll also help bring your legs up this way. Okay. Now... A couple other things on the recovery. You see, watch this wrist. Ha, ha, to me, your wrist is, is leading this recovery, your wrist. We want your elbow to be the instigator to throw out your hand over here. So you, you, your, your elbow comes up and your hand swings out in front. Right now, your wrist is coming out and leading the whole show. And then... It's leading the whole show on the pull, too. So we want your elbow to come up. And this is on both sides, not just this side, but both sides. So yeah, well, we should see your elbow here and your wrist here. And then it, it f flows through down into the water at 45 degree. Let's watch in slow motion. Okay. Now, another thing. Remember, we're riding tracks. Uh, train tracks. Let me put a couple pair on here. So we have one here and then we have another one here And your hands go to those tracks on the recovery and the tracks are the width of your shoulder So you need to move your arm out here and it stays there all the time now This arm when it recovers it needs to go to this track and it stays on the track And remember when you come down the water you want to be at a 45 like this right now you're kind of coming up like this with your hand. See? You can see it's kind of popping up here. Okay, now another thing that's happening. When you go to take a breath, because you're over-rotating in this breath, you're pushing this arm down to catch your balance. Because you're over-rotating this way, you might feel like you're going to roll over onto your back, so you drop this arm. And this arm needs to stay here because it's your it's your track. Remember, it's your subway track. If you drop your subway track, the in a, in a train, the train crashes, and the same happens with your stroke. So this arm needs to come around as your body rotates. You set this arm up for the pull. But you are rotating much better. We just need to work on the the fine tuning of the stroke now. So that's enough for this one.